Stockade Lake North Campground is located just inside the west entrance to Custer State Park. The campground is well maintained and the sites are spread nicely among the pine trees. There's a nice area for kids to play and a playground that my kids loved. In addition, there's an amphitheater where in the summertime they can run programs. We stayed at Site 32E, which is on the outside of one of the lower loops. As you can see, it was pretty empty campground as it was opening weekend, but we really enjoyed having the space to ourselves. The campsites on the inside of the loop are a little closer together, so we suggest that if you make reservations, try to get a first spot on the outside of any of the loops. Here's a look at how spacious and shady our site was that weekend. This campground is just perfect for families. Not only was there a playground on site, but there's a playground, beach, and a swimming area, all within walking distance of the campground. We also spent some time fishing and caught lots of trout, which we made for dinner. As rangers for the dirt.com, we were sent this Renogy solar backpack to try out during our weekend trip. We really enjoyed using this backpack. It's roomy inside, has a really neat strap for holding your sunglasses, and the back is really well padded as well as the straps. This backpack has a double zipper system, so it allows you to flip the back side out and become a solar charger. Here's a demo and review of the Renogy solar backpack. So today we're reviewing the Renault G solar backpack. It's just a regular backpack, but <coughs> this part here is reversible to a solar panel. So, zip it back in. Look in here. <clears throat> this is the USB port. And the way that we like to use it the best is having a power bank. There's little slots in here. So there's one made for a cell phone, one for a power bank, one over here for a tablet. Take this out. It's really nice. You know it's charging because there's a blue light that lights up inside of there. And then if it is clouded over too much as not charging, that blue light goes out. And the reason we use a power bank is because certain electronics are sensitive. So if you were to have a high sunlight area and then all of a sudden into the shade while you're walking, Certain electronics, like for instance my camera, would shut off and not charge. So if you put it on the power bank, then you can charge from this to your more sensitive electronics. I'll show you how you do that. Plug it in there. As you can see, when I press on this, for the display, nothing lights up. So we're using it when the power bank is dead. Plug it in, 
and automatically it starts to light up and charge. Stuff it back in. There's a little spot. Back up. back and while you're hiking it'll be charging your electronics for you. <clears throat> so it's five volts, it's a maximum of 5.6 watts and 1.2 amps is the maximum so direct sunlight that is what you would get out of it. So after we had the pack sitting in the sun, um, it was a partly cloudy day today. We had some pretty thick clouds coming over every now and then. So it was about three to four hours um, of partly cloudy sun. And we'll see what the charge got to here. Not bad. So it got half charged on the bank. And again, if you were in full sun easily, this would have gotten fully charged. We're really looking forward to taking this backpack on some of our extended adventures this summer. Thanks for watching, and remember as always to get up, get out, and go have an adventure.